among the immediate benefits to the country and Kitui County once it is made a special economic zone and the coal mining project kicks off is an additional 2400 megawatts of power generation to the national grid by the year 2020. Currently, Kenya only produces 1,400 megawatts of power for the whole country and the demand for power has outstripped the supply. The uh, project that we have in Mui is doable. It is good. It is in line with Vision 2030 and uh, it will help us provide reliable and affordable uh, energy to Kenyans. The government, in collaboration with the Chinese government, plans to set up a power plant in the area in which the coal mine will be processed to produce power. Other developments like infrastructure, schools, residential houses, roads and shopping malls and health facilities are set to emerge as a result of the expansive coal mining activities in the area. The Chinese are doing value addition. And in the process, they are, they are, they are able to provide affordable and reliable energy. And this is uh, something that we would also want to do back home. We would very much like to see the whole concept here being transported literally to Kenya uh, so that we can then generate power to benefit uh, the Kenyan economy. In Mui Basin, there is enough coal to produce enough power uh, that we are consuming in Kenya and step that up to as much power as 5,000 megawatts, which is what uh, our Vision 2030 uh, actually uh, has specified. During the trip, we had an opportunity to tour China's Inner Mongolia, where the company has an open-cut mine. As a result of the mine, the province has grown massively with Datang Power Plant in Nanjing, offering the power needed for development. Datang Power Plant here is actually a very modern plant, uh, which is wholly uh, coal-fired, uh, comprising uh, an area of 103 um, Chinese acres. A modern airport has also come up in the area, leading to an efficient transport system. This is the model the government expects to replicate in Kitui County. It is often said the only disability in life is bad attitude, and the residents of Mui and Kenyans need to weigh the expected economic and social benefits to the region and the county versus misinformation and negative politics that may force the project never to take off or delay in implementation. Kendia Buao, reporting for Ukambani Call, The Chinese Connection.